That's basically it for tonight. It's slowly coming together. What's up, you guys? It is currently February 1st. It is 9.39 p.m. I have been taking a lazy week. I have not had this much time off in a very long time. I am going to relish in it i was gonna pick up some shifts but honestly i'm cool off of it i just want to relax and i paid my rent early so your girl is not worried about that so i'm gonna show you guys what i did i didn't do much so yesterday i ended up cleaning up my kitchen and this morning all of the dishes that were drying out here i put away besides this one this is the one that i made my tacos on yesterday i think i'm going to keep this corner like this i really like the way it looks that is my cutting board that i'm never going to use it's just really cute for decoration got my two vases over there and then this envelope holder is for like any mail that i have that i don't want to be cluttered everywhere i just keep it in that little folder until i'm ready i got my roses from trader joe's they're so beautiful um and then i got my white gardenia candle going on got the oven I have my footed bowl. I still want to put something in here. I have my extra virgin olive oil and I'm thinking of putting canola oil in this one. This treat bin that I use for Lucky. Um, and he just heard me. He's coming up here to see why I opened that here. I'll give you one because that was definitely wrong of me to do without giving you one. Here you go. I'm sorry. I got my water kettle that I use a lot for tea. I'm probably gonna make tea tonight. And my knife collection. I'm missing one because it's actually in the sink right now. Um, I got these three bins. I didn't realize when I was filling this up yesterday that these are two different types of sugar, but it's whatever. Sugar is sugar. It's going in my tea. That's really all I use sugar for. I don't really use rice or flour or anything like that, but I probably will put like oatmeal in one maybe and then i got my air fryer and my blender out because i use those the most i am planning on getting a toaster and i'm probably gonna put it on this side because there's another plug over there what are you oh that's actually his cabinet where i keep his dog food that's why he's sniffing it like that i have these mats here because i'm about to wash these dishes these are the remainder of my mugs that i have not washed i ended up cleaning and drying all of my to go mugs and cups so they finally are up there i color coded them they look beautiful. This is like baking needs. This is my junk drawer that I also happen to have my oven mitts on top of. I have these kitchen towels. I actually got them from Home Goods. I love them. They're little dogs. This one I'm really proud of as well. I put this one together a couple of days ago, um, sometime last week, and I was waiting for the final set of dishes to go in here, but I have all of my set from Target. These are mostly from Target and Ikea. I have some more bowls in there, random pots and pans and baking goods. They all fit in here, which is really nice. I just need to reorganize it. And this drawer is like all of my baking utensils, stuff for cooking with the pots and pans. I have all my instruction manuals in here just in case I forget how to do something. And then this one is one of my favorite drawers. This is my silverware drawer. I love it. I put all my wooden utensils back there. And then I haven't organized this one yet, but this is just a bunch of random stuff. This one is also not organized. Uh, there's just random towels, the Brita filter for my water. This one, you guys will not believe, but it's actually more glasses <laughs> inside of here because I didn't know where else to put them and I still wanted these. So I put all the backup glasses in here. I know I'm insane. I I um, bought this pina colada mix the other day. Also, this is for my 22nd birthday, my 1942, and I just leave it here. I finally put alcohol in this. I'm so excited about it. This is um, Anejo Don Julio from my 23rd birthday. I always buy myself a bottle for my birthday. It's becoming a tradition since I was 22. So 22 is this one, 23 is Anejo. It just so happens that both of them are tequila. I'm a tequila girl, so I don't know what 24 is gonna be, but we have until August to figure that out. We're gonna use her tonight. I bought these little cups because I thought they'd be so cute. I meant to get um, whipped cream, but I forgot. So we're just gonna have without whipped cream, but you just use this mix. It already has alcohol in it, it's rum. And then you put ice. It is around 10.30 and I think I'm deciding that today or tonight is the night that I straighten up my closet. Um, currently, I am washing some clothes in here. I got some clothes in the dryer from the other day. I've been putting my kitchen first for the past week because I just have so much stuff for the kitchen. 
but everything is finally pretty much put away so I can focus on something else. I also think that it will finally be the day tomorrow where I put my bed frame together. It has been sitting here for the past week. In the time that it's been sitting there, I built my nightstands and I also built my little pantry bar stand situation so i think it's time to build my bed frame i'm gonna bring it out to the living room tonight to force myself to spend all day dealing with it tomorrow because i um i think it's time that i sleep on an elevated platform i've been sleeping on the floor for the past week and i've just been avoiding putting it together i'm off for most of this week so i figured now is the time but Tonight, I think I'm just gonna suck it up and put my clothes away. I really hate clothing chores, like laundry, things like that. It's one of my least favorite activities to do, but it's it's getting a little bit ridiculous. I have this here, which is basically just underwear. I have a clean hamper there. I have a clean thing there, clean thing there. I have a hamper here, I got a hamper here, and then I just have stuff thrown at the top of this. I still need a dresser and I will be getting a dresser within the next week or two um, to put the rest of my things, but for the majority of my stuff, I'm gonna be putting it in the closet, so I should probably get that together. what the living room looks like now. No clothes on the floor except for that pile over there. I have the washer and the dryer going right now. Mostly towels that I need to put away in the bathroom. I started putting away stuff in the bathroom. I still have this pack of toilet paper right here and I have, I don't know where I put, oh, there they are over there. The paper towels. I need to figure out where to put them, probably in that closet, but I have more toilet paper. I stole this from my dad's house. <laughs> So I have toilet paper for a very long time, um, but I have just random stuff in these shelves. I'll probably reorganize it later, but I'm using these top two shelves for all of my towels up there and then all of the washcloths. And I need to vacuum and mop tomorrow just because it's too late right now and I don't want to wake anybody up below me. So I'm going to vacuum and mop. I have not opened my vacuum or mop yet. I have my Swiffer and my Bissell that I have not used yet. Don't kill me. But I'm planning on sweeping and mopping tomorrow because Lucky has been here for a little bit over a week. And there's not really any hair or anything on the floor, but there's definitely some food from his bowls over there that I want to get rid of. So I'm definitely going to sweep and mop tomorrow. I think I might end up getting like a blanket little holder or a basket or something. I've always seen them at uh, Target, but I didn't think I wanted them until I realized I do have a lot of blankets and I don't want to put all of them in my closet. So I might get a blanket basket to put my blankets in and put it in the corner. So I'm planning on having a TV stand here. I was going to do two bookshelves on the side, but I found a bookshelf on Ikea that actually is about the length of this wall and it's shorter so it looks more like a bench you can't sit down on it it's a calax and if you guys don't know what the calax collection looks like i actually have a calax shelf in my closet right now and i had this from my dad's house i built it it's right there i'm using it for my purse storage right now but it's basically like this but instead of the top rack it's just all like this lower rack and they're a little bit taller than those and since i have a mirror over here i have my little pantry over here 
I'm gonna put the couch here. My computer is on my <laughs> island with the kitchen stuff and it's not, it's not giving. So I need to get my couch, I already bought it. I'm just waiting for it to get delivered, but I need to buy a bookshelf. I need to buy my TV stand. I need to buy my dresser. I need to get a desk. I need to get a makeup storage. I need to get over the toilet storage as well. <sighs> what am I missing? Um, a vacuum. I still don't have a vacuum um, for the carpet. And if you have a dog, if you know, you know, you can't skip out on the vacuum. So I have to get a really good one. I am planning on getting these things within the next couple of weeks. I'm super excited that my apartment is coming together. The big thing was the kitchen. So I'm really happy with the way that my counters look. I'm in love with my kitchen. Um, and I cannot wait until Christmas time because it will really pop. But I love the timing that I moved in January because now I can just have it set up for like my actual just normal setup. And then as the seasons go along throughout, because I've literally got the place in the beginning of the year, I will experience every season in here. And I'm really excited. I was planning on starting like a quarter of the way through, but God has the plans and I'm glad that he did because I'm so happy. I regret literally nothing. I'm so glad I moved when I did. I'm so glad I made that last minute decision to just uh, apply and get the place. And I'm so thankful for my dad for giving me that push to get this place. So my dog is literally a dead log right now. He's being extremely dramatic. Um, he did absolutely nothing today, but he's having the sleep of an 80 year old man so this is what the closet is looking like this is what i was doing i was on the phone with my dad watching family guy doing all the things this is all my athleisure stuff i need to go to the gym guys i haven't gone to the gym in a very long time in like a month and a half uh it's getting very bad so <laughs> i need to go to the gym soon these are all my gym clothes um i have sweatpants and stuff over here i have leggings and then a bunch of t-shirts back there so that's the top organization and then the bottom is just jackets pullover shirts sweaters stuff like that i don't really have that much to hang up it's mostly just up there that's basically it for tonight so i'm just going to wash and dry clothes for the rest of the night clean up my room a little bit organize it to the best of my ability before i have furniture to put the stuff in um and i'm just gonna call it a night probably make some dinner i will see you guys tomorrow when i tackle my bed frame and hold me to it because i've been procrastinating doing the bed frame but i finally put it in the living room and when I take stuff out of my room and put it in the living room, means we're getting it done. So hopefully I finish it tomorrow. <laughs> but I will see you guys tomorrow. In the future, or anything, any transition at all, there's nothing. It's then we, we see this guy, okay? And this is our guy, Neil Breen. currently 12 a.m technically it's friday but i just spent all of thursday basically at home i ended up putting up 
my bed, which you guys can see me in right now. I had my friend Brittany, her name is also Brittany. She came over for the first time and we just hung out, um, ordered some pizza and I ended up putting the bed frame together while she was here um, with me so she can help hold the pieces together and everything. But I'm glad I was able to show her my place for the first time because I did the same for her when she got her first place. So I'm glad we were able to do that for each other. But now I'm so happy. I'm not sleeping on the floor anymore. I finally put my mattress topper on as well from Tempur-Pedic that I bought a minute ago. I'm feeling real good in here. I finally have a headboard. I love that for me. I just need bedding, like an actual comforter because right now I'm sitting on top of sheets. Lucky, of course, has his same bedding that he's had this whole time. This is his bed <laughs> in my room. So he's sitting right there. I finally was able to unbox this little desk, um, little lap desk that I have from my bed. I totally forgot that I bought this. Um, so I just have, <laughs> this is so awkward. I have uh, chocolate graham crackers and frosting. This is my guilty pleasure. I love, and I'm watching Family Guy on my iPad. Super excited to get the rest of my furniture. Um, I'm excited. I'm going to get a TV soon. I have never really had artwork in my room before. Um, so I'm really excited to get some. I have never like personalized my room in that way. So I'm excited to personalize my apartment in that way. I have a couple of plans. I bought some art already for my bathroom. I bought a clock for my kitchen, but for my room, I'm thinking of putting the skyline of LA because I love that place. Y'all know, if you know, you know, that's my dream location. Eventually I will be living in LA. I'm manifesting it. I manifested this apartment for years, so I'm manifesting that LA situation for right now. I love what I snagged. Um, I do not regret anything. Every day I lay down, especially tonight, it feels a little bit more real because I finally have like an actual bed that I'm laying on. Every night I go to sleep, I'm just like, thank you, God, that I was able to get on my own, get my own place. Um, it's not perfect, but it's perfect for me, and I'm in love with it. It is pretty early for me. It's only 12.23. Normally I'm up pretty late. I'm a night owl, but I'm just gonna chill in the bed. That's finally off the ground. I will see you guys whenever I do something exciting. I'm gonna call it a night, y'all. And Lucky is too. He's over it. Okay. What if I just open this and a rat pop up? <laughs> it just starts running. I will scream. I will jump on this counter. I don't know what luck you're gonna do, but listen, he burned Eat it. Up. He'll just watch it, honestly. Oh my gosh. Okay, watch out, Lucky. Can't really see it. See. I heard, I was looking at the Wayfair reviews. Basically, it comes in two parts, the left and the right side. And then you just poke them together. What if I hate it? Oh god, I'm getting scared. I forgot it came with a pillow. My gosh, I forgot about that. Cute. It's a little firm. She's a little firm. Poopy on this couch, I swear to god. You're getting disowned. Like Evicted. No good. <laughs> Like, just too perfect for me. You didn't like what I said? Jesus, please Yay! Yeah, it happens. That's what vision looks like. It's a hundred days to change your mind. It's way fair. Why? I do like it though. It's not not comfortable. Why? No. Hey, no. What was that? Wayfair. <laughs> Just what I need. <laughs> Wayfair, stop. Wayfair, you are stuck. <laughs> as good as gonna get. And the thing is, when I'm finished and I replace the legs, do I have to do that again? Yay! Come here, boo. Come on. Come here, look. Look right here. Do you like it? Oh, he can get on the couch? I thought you can get on the couch. Yay! He's not gonna choose to get on the couch, though. He only does it when I'm not here. Oh, you like it? Do you like it, lucky? Oh, you like it? Do you like it? What's up, you guys? I am watching you. I think I'm gonna spend the rest of the day re-watching seasons one through three because tomorrow the new season of you comes out this is so random but this is one of my favorite shows and i've always imagined myself watching the third season in my new apartment i got news of the new season coming out and i knew that it was going to come out when i moved into my apartment so it's so surreal that 
I actually am in a new apartment. I was able to move when the new season came out, so that's just like a really big milestone for me. So I'm excited to see the new season in my new place. I got a new couch. It's slowly coming together and I'm loving it. I am on my way to Ikea to go and probably find a lamp for the living room because that one right there is gonna go into my bedroom. So let's go. I'm filming on my phone right now. By the way, I finally got a new phone um, and I finally started my own service. So now your girl pays her own phone bill. I ended up going to Target and picking up some things, but I wanna show you guys what I got from Ikea. I ended up getting this lamp from Ikea. I'm really excited about it. Um, it's really unique and I haven't seen anybody have it, at least on YouTube, which is mainly where I look. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just a really cool design. And the lady inside of Ikea said that she liked it and she's had it for 10 years. So I believed her. <laughs> it's lucky. I'm gonna put it over here because I'll probably build it tonight. Hey, boosh. And then I ended up getting another bath mat for my bathroom. We can actually put that in there right now. I realized that the first bath mat that I have in here is not enough. <laughs> not my pants on the floor, girl. I think I'm just gonna move this over. I was kind of getting sad because I knew they wouldn't be symmetrical, but honestly, I don't care enough to not have two, just because I like having my feet covered when I get out of the shower. And the fact that it kept going on the hardwood floor was making me feel some type of way. Okay, Lucky, that is not your bed. What are you doing? I also got this lamp which kind of looks pretty similar to like the Pixar lamp, if you guys can see right there. I also got this from Ikea today, so I'm gonna put that together as well at some point. From Target, I just ended up getting some more laundry detergent. I got three backups, because I hate going to the store to get laundry detergent. It's like my least favorite errand. I also got this from Ikea. These are the light bulbs for the big lamp, but I forgot to get it for the small one, so I'll go back. I got a trash can for the bathroom, actually. <laughs> You're still in there, you crazy dog. I ended up getting some stuff for Lucky. This is a... Uh, Actually, I think something that his grandma got, so my mom. I ended up buying him these ones, and then she ended up getting those as well. I guess we can have some extras. Got some pill pockets. He's not a big fan of these. That's why he's not coming close to me. Um, but he needs to take his pills, and it's better than giving it to him straight up. So I like using the pill pockets in conjunction with his food. Got some Febreze for the couch. Some fabric Febreze. I've never used it before. Got some WD-40 because my lock right there is really squeaky and I hate that. So I want to spray it. Also the hinges on my bathroom door and my uh, bedroom door are a little bit squeaky as well. So I'll just spray that. I got three different types of Febreze because apartment smells are a thousand percent real and I'll just wake up and it smells crazy in here. So I have a kitchen odor eliminator for when I cook and I don't want to smell it forever. I have just a regular ocean air one. And then I have a air hygienic clean. I have some command hooks from Target because I'm planning on hanging up my picture that I got from Home Goods a couple of days ago, as well as the clock, which is now up there. You can see like the little reflection. And then lastly, and the thing that I'm most excited about, I got this basket to put my blankets in and I'm thinking about putting it in the living room. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I am probably just going to spend the rest of the night to chill, and I might put that lamp together if it's not too complicated, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Hello, Lucky. <laughs> I don't know why you're staring at me. I was able to build this lamp. It actually didn't take that long at all. I really love the way that it looks, and I love what it's giving for this room. I'm probably just gonna rearrange some stuff and call it a night. I will see you guys the next time I have an update for you. What's up, you guys? It is currently February. What day is it? February 11th. I have a couple of apartment updates to give you guys. So these boxes that are right here are Ikea items that I have to build. I have my makeup storage and a TV stand in these boxes over here. Over here, I actually just bought this for Lucky today. This is a bed that's gonna go in my bedroom. It's a black dog bed because my furniture in my room is black and dark themed. And then I have a plain white if you can notice the difference, that one is like a gray undertone. This one's just plain white 
bed and it's also bigger because I felt bad that he couldn't fully fit on this bed. So I got him a bigger one. So hopefully his whole body can fit on here. $40 from Home Goods. I get all of the pet beds that he's ever had from Home Goods, at least from me. I think I showed you guys the lamp over there. I have a bookshelf here that I ended up putting together a couple of days ago. It's the Calax bookshelf and I have the floor mount. So I was able to put it on the floor. I really love this bookshelf a lot. And then I also have this basket from Target to keep all of my blankets in, so that's over there. These are the doors to my TV stand that I have to build for Ikea. I ended up getting this, which I'm really excited about. I did order a bedding from Target.com, but I saw this today and liked it better, so I'll probably end up returning the one that I got. Um, this is the Casa Luna. I've always wanted something from Casa Luna. This is the Linen Blend comforter set, the heavyweight, and it's a queen size, so I'm so excited to put this on. I'm really excited to just have like plain, simple bedding for my room and then your girl did some damage outside today so i got those two dog beds i also got this for lucky's things it's like a little bin that opens up i'm gonna put some of his things in there and then the rest of his things are gonna go in these two bins and i'm planning on putting this underneath of the pantry set that I made. Rather than this, it just looks messy. I'm not gonna use this method anymore. It'll be more organized once I put the bins under there. I also ended up getting, this is so random, but I ended up getting Monopoly because I've always wanted to learn how to play and I never learned as a child. I'm excited to learn how to play um, and I got it because I like to just have random games inside of my TV stand. I have a couple that I already have here. I have Uno, Jenga, stuff like that. So I got Monopoly. This is just random stuff. I got baby wipes. So the girls that get it, get it, okay? I always need baby wipes. Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. We're Not Really Strangers game. I bought this a long time ago and returned it, but I actually really do want it. So I picked it back up again and I'm gonna put it in my TV stand with the rest of the board games. Also got this, which I totally forgot about. Hopefully it's not damaged, please. Okay, good, it's fine. This is for Easter. Isn't this so cute? I was thinking about putting it in my kitchen somewhere. Do you love it? Do you love it? Cause you're all over it. Also from Target, I ended up getting more hangers because I needed some. I just grabbed a couple more. The only difference is these don't have the bottom part because they didn't have them anymore, but I wanted to keep all the colors consistent. So I just ended up getting these. I hang up mostly shirts anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. Casa Luna candle as well. This is the Casa Luna Serenity candle and it smells like sage and mint and it smells really, really good. And then the last thing that I got, this is really random, but I've been looking for a robe for a minute. Not on my high tier to-do list, but definitely always lingering. And today, this one was large, extra large, which is speaking my language. Um, I love oversized robes. I showed you guys the bookshelf, but I also ended up building one of my desks. Yes, you heard me correctly, I built it. I built everything in here so far, even with my half vision ass, girl. I've been busting my butt. So the room is messy, so I'm not gonna show you the whole thing. Even this desk is messy and I just put it in here. But this is the Mick desk and it has two drawers this is the second one i'm so proud of myself for putting this together and i actually am going to put together my second desk tonight but this is the one that i have together right now i'm planning on using this one for mostly makeup and like vanity and then i'm gonna put another one in the corner over there for my computer and things like that anything to do with youtube or office work i am probably just going to unpack all this stuff and get to building because i have a desk to build tonight even though I can barely see girl, it's okay. She gonna do it, she gonna do it. What time is it exactly? 2.11 a.m. and I just finished building this desk. So this is gonna be my office desk. It has a drawer up here. I think the drawer is a little bit uneven because the track is bent, but I'm just gonna leave it alone. I don't really care that much. Um, this drawer is a little wonky too, but I'm leaving it alone. <laughs> Both of the tracks are bent. And then this opens up, but this is the desk I love. And then the desk next to it is going to be like my vanity desk. I have my vanity mirror and everything at my dad's house, so I need to go back and get it. This is for my office desk. I'm just gonna call it my YouTube desk because I don't actually have any office work to do. It is this lamp. It's so cute, it reminds me of Pixar. Tomorrow is Super Bowl Sunday, um, and I would love to be able to watch it on the TV. So hopefully I can get one tomorrow. If not, it's not the end of the world, but I would love to be able to have a TV. And also, You season four came out. I watched one episode on my iPad, but I want to watch the rest on the TV. So hopefully I can get one tomorrow. Fingers crossed.
moved it. <laughs> <laughs> It is 12.35 on February 19th, 2023, and Mr. Lucky is 10 years old. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lucky. Happy birthday to you. Thank you for being the best little doggy ever. Thank you for being my road dog, my shoddy. Thank you for being a little boy. <laughs> you fucking so lucky. <laughs> and now you can finally have your first beer. Here you go. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, 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 yum. Good. Yay. I also got this, but I'm going to give this to him tomorrow. Like, to well, later on today in the morning. I'm laying down in your bed. And we're watching Bojack Horseman. Yay, happy birthday. <laughs> this is it exciting, Lucky? He's so fascinated by this. <laughs> Oh, whoa. Are you having fun? Watch me build this lucky. <laughs> We're on the last drawer. What's up, you guys? I'm going to be doing a little bit of an update, and I know you're probably so confused. Whatever the hell I'm wearing right now, I have a whole new outgrown hairstyle. It's a lot. It's been a minute since I picked up this camera for a moving vlog. I'm about to go to the gym right now, and I done went through a hairstyle, took it out, put one back in, grew it out. I kind of went through a break of editing, but this is the last moving vlog, and I figured that I would give you guys a final update on the apartment. I'm so excited you guys came along with me to help me move into my first apartment, and I want to show you guys everything that I got since the last update that I gave you of the TV stand. And then the next video that you guys see of me talking about my apartment in depth will be like a fully furnished apartment tour. I don't know when that's gonna be because I still have a couple of other things to do. Mostly it's just artwork and like finishing pieces. So in the living room, I actually ended up completely setting up my TV stand. So this is what it ended up coming out as, minus the hamper, I'm doing laundry right now. This is what the TV stand ended up looking like. I still didn't get a cover for this cable because I'm still looking for one to get on the wall. Put all of my candles in that first one. In these drawers, I ended up putting like all of my board games. And then I think I just have like random stuff in this one. I have a Wii console in there. And then, oh my gosh, you guys, I bought these online thinking it was gonna be like a gag. I got this idea from Drew Gooden. They're literally these like little things that you can use to clean your couch with. Don't knock it till you try it. This works, especially on Luggy's hair, for sure. That was the main update in the living room. Moving on to the kitchen, my update in here is that I finally got my clock hung up. Actually, the batteries do not work, <laughs> or I didn't put them in correctly or something, so when I hung it, finally, it doesn't work. So it's been stuck on this time ever since I put it up, and I'm too lazy to go back up there, so it's just been on that time since I've hung it up, and when I decide to get back up there and change the time, I will, but for now, we're looking at this. It's mainly for aesthetics anyway. On the door, behind the door, rather, I actually just put this up recently, recently, 
and it's like a little coat rack. My friend Nyansi has one in her apartment and I was like, girl, I need one of those. So I put my dog's leash, just random stuff that I use for walks, a fanny pack, things that I wanna get that are accessible that I don't feel like putting in the coat closet, I put on this rack. In the bathroom, you guys missed a lot. So I have this here right now because I've been taking baths because after I work out, I wanna take like a muscle relaxing bath. So I've been taking baths for the past couple days. So that's what that's doing there. I actually hung up this painting as well. This is my naked lady with a towel draped over her. And I finally built an over the toilet storage. I'm actually glad I didn't film it because it was very stressful. And this is extremely unstable <laughs> despite how it looks. It is just like ready to wobble at any moment. But I figured I didn't wanna bolt it to the wall because I thought that was doing too much. And I don't really touch this area. It's not like I'm gonna be hitting it a lot, so I just left it alone. You can even see I started getting a little bit ratchet with it. This is actually super glue. It's not even the bolt that it's supposed to be there. It's a mess, girl. But either way, she's here. She's thriving. She's doing well. I have like a fake plant from Target up here. I got these bins from Ikea to help for storage and just makes the aesthetics look better. And then the last set of updates are in my bedroom. As you guys have seen, this is my bed. But what I did not show you guys is that I finally built my dresser. So this is the mom for drawer dresser. This is uh, very interestingly built. The actual structure is fine, but I know the back part is not built the best because I started getting frustrated with it when I was building it. This little back part that's supposed to be closed off, I think it's missing like one or two nails, but I'm not planning on moving this. When I do move, whenever that is, I'm probably just gonna get a better dresser. This is kind of just like a makeshift because I knew I needed one, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money. My bras in here, got my socks in here. And then next to that, I finally, finally, finally built my makeup collection and stored everything. So I have my mirror right here. It needs to be washed clearly. <laughs> and I have my jewelry box. I was thinking about getting a jewelry vanity, but I don't wear that much jewelry. So I just ended up using the box. And then this has all my makeup in it. This is my vanity mirror that I ended up getting from my dad's house. And oh my gosh, you guys, I was putting this on just now. Y'all, <laughs> why did it rip like that? And behind this is actually my Skyline picture that I got from Wayfair of Los Angeles. It ended up being too short for my liking for the top of my bed. So I'm thinking of putting it next to my desk because I recently just got this, the little like letterboard sign. I found this quote off of Pinterest, put it on the letterboard and I hung up my letterboard. That is everything. Those are the updates that I have for right now. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for coming along with me with my move in vlogs. I really appreciate everyone's comments, everyone's nice words, subscribers that just got here, subscribers that have been here since like I was 19 years old watching me grow on here, subscribers that are from my last channel girl, like that when I was 16 and 15 years old, like regardless of where you're coming from, thank you so much for following me. Thank you so much for being here for my move in journey. I'm excited to take you guys along with me living in my 20s, living alone, getting my life together, figuring out what I'm gonna do. I am in the process of trying to reinvent my content, trying to reinvent myself, bettering myself, just getting everything all around together and progressing as a person, evolving, if you will. So I'm excited to vlog that. I'm excited to take you guys along with that. I love the way I kickstarted this year. It's been definitely an adjustment and I'm so glad I took you guys along with me. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching the moving vlogs and I will see you in my next video. Bye.